over 30 years. Uh, I worked in government doing a lot of financial analysis and budget work, mainly with the city of Seattle. After my 30 years, I retired and went into doing my passion, which is making Japanese sweets. My name is Art Oki. I own Umaido Japanese Sweets. I chose Jackson Street and 19th Avenue South as my uh, location. Uh, it's because uh, the location was formerly a, a restaurant called 300 Restaurant, which the old timers in Seattle, the Japanese community knew uh, previously. It's nice to see some of the old timers come in and and reminisce about this location and then start asking me what I do for uh, with the shop now. There's two types of traditional sweets. There's the steam kind which is covered with mochi and then the baked kind that is breaded. My signature piece is called imogashi it looks like a mountain potato. It's cinnamon coated cake covering with uh, white lima bean paste in the middle. I call it my Japanese version of a snickerdoodle. In Japan and even in the United States, those who have mastered the skill of making the Japanese sweets, they've earned the title of shokunin, which translates into artist. So. With my slogan that uh, I have, the art of manju, it's kind of the ultimate uh, level that I'd like to create uh, my manju in. So these are my quiet times where I can think about other things than just making manju. I call it my zen moments. Just being calm, it's nice to have the, the quietness except for the music behind me and not having to be concerned about too many other things. So I'm still working on getting better. I haven't got the perfect one yet, but we're getting closer. I feel, I feel mean eating this one, it's so cute. Ooh, it's like, um, like gum. I think that uh, if people understood that not only is it delicious, but it's also gluten-free and dairy-free, it would catch fire in the city. So awareness that it exists, I think is a big challenge.